here we are. Welcome back, Facebook, to another hashtag live feed reads. This today, I was going to say this morning, but it's just today, this afternoon. We have uh, Ryan Reed with us. We normally have Paul, but uh, I think things will be a little different with Ryan. But uh, Ryan is the other Reed from Read and Reads. Of course, it's now like Read, Read and Read because we have Jackie too. But we'll get Jackie on here at some point. But uh, say good day to him, Ryan. Take it from here. What do we got? Hey, Facebook friends. Brian Reed here with Reed and Reed. And today I wanted to go over a little bit of a CYA, okay? We get people that come in year after year with this problem. And I, I really hope for you, after watching this video, you'll never have this problem. It'll stop. Gap insurance. Here's the scenario. You go, and I'm just going to make up numbers for easy math. You go to the dealership and you buy a vehicle for a brand new car for $30,000. You don't buy gap insurance. A year goes by, you're enjoying the car, it's great. You're making your payments, everything's dandy, and bam. Your rear ended, your car is flipped, it's total. But the insurance company is telling you that you're only going to get $20,000. Well, because in Florida, it's not what you owe on the vehicle. In this case, let's say you owe $25,000. It's the fair market value of the vehicle at the time of the collision. No way around it. So now $20,000 goes to the lien holder, the bank, and you're on the hook for $5,000 to the, that same bank. You're out of vehicle, and you don't have any money for a down payment on another vehicle. Wow. And you're screwed. Ouch. There's nothing you can do about it. It happens all the time. It just happened this week. And so this is the, this is the public service announcement for all of our Facebook friends. Next time you buy a vehicle, get gap insurance. It's probably the single greatest insurance policy available in my opinion, because when the inevitable happens and you don't have it, you're in the hole on a loan for a vehicle that's no longer existent and no money for a down payment on a new vehicle. And again, I hate seeing that. And you guys are friends out there. We don't want you to come to us and me have to give you this spiel in person and tell you how screwed you are. So Gap Insurance, get it. Next time, if you know someone who's buying a car, if you know someone who's going to be buying you a car recently, add them in this video, share them this video, or at the very least, tell them you need to get gap insurance and, and save yourself a huge headache. And that's all I have for you, short and sweet. I got a question. My segment, the efficient live feed reads. Yeah. You can get in, get out, get on with your life. It's a beautiful day. This is perfect for deep weather. It really Hopefully is. Hopefully, I'll be heading there uh, at the end of the day as well. And I hope right you always on. have a nice weekend. Jason, one one question. Else yeah, 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 I got a question. Can you hear me? Oh, I thought I was out of here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, no. So you went in, in dealing with the, the gap insurance or situations like that. I'm sure that you've had uh, clients come to you and ask for help, and it's been very difficult to help them. And they walk away with this kind of misconception that you just didn't want to, perhaps. But like your hands are tied from what it sounds like. Yeah, and, and I don't necessarily think anyone thinks that we don't want to help them because I basically run through – you know what? It's all contracts. Yeah. Insurance at the end of the day, insurance coverages is all based in contract, and so they understand. You know, at, at, after we explain how all of this works and, and to them in person, they understand. Now, no one likes it. I don't like it. I think yeah. property damage, the way it's currently handled uh, under the law in Florida, is extremely unfair for people. Uh, the insurance mm. companies definitely have the upper hand. Of course, they have billions of dollars to pay for lobbyists and, and laws. Right. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, because think about this example too. This happens all the time too. Let's say you're retired. Mm -hmm. You're 10 years in your retirement. You have a nice strict budget. You're you're doing fine. Everything's great. Yeah. You have a, a, a 2000, what is it, 21 right now? But you have a 2008 Ford F-150 that you've been changing the oil regularly. You, you replace the parts as sure. you're supposed to. I mean, this behemoth, this beast <laughs> is going to run to you guys. Yeah. You're never going to have to have a new car payment. You paid it off a long time ago. The insurance is cheap on it, and you're golden. And then you're rear-ended. The car is drivable. You know, maybe it has a little thing here or there. But the insurance company then tells you, well, the cost to repair this vehicle, you know, exceeds our threshold 70%, 80% of what the fair market value is. So it's total. You can't get it re-registered. It's a nightmare. So now mm. they're giving you three grand, six grand. What do you got? Who knows what you're going to get with that amount of money? 
uh, and or you have to go out and buy a new car. Now I have a new car payment, higher insurance, wow. and a strict budget that changes your retirement. Yeah. That also happens a lot as well. Mm. I don't really have much advice for you there because yeah. you take care of your car. What else can you do? Things happen. Sure. Uh, but that, that's you know, that's why it's so important, though. It's not fair in Florida, so you have to do everything you can to protect yourself. Because you, know, you, you, you got to see the accident. Last year. Yeah, there's a lot of them, man, Ta especially right here in Tampa. Uh, you've done a great job of explaining kind of the, the importance of that. And I know that you guys don't sell it, so it's kind of like it's not something that you're going to personally benefit from. So I appreciate you sharing that expertise. I know you guys deal with this every single day, but people like me, we don't, we don't really see the ins and outs and understand all those fine, fine details. So I appreciate you doing exactly. that. Exactly. So whenever I'm on here, I'm really <laughs> going to just be talking about ways people get screwed that I see all the time uh, yeah. to give you that behind the curtain look, because honestly, we see it all the time. First of all, attorneys see it all the time. Yeah. Unless it happens to you or a close family member, you never hear about it. That's right. You got to be able to protect yourself. So yeah. keep tuning in. Gap Insurance was today. So tag that, hashtag that, James. I got you. CLA, yep. Gap Insurance, what have you. Next week, we'll talk about collision coverage. Then we'll talk about uninsured motorist coverage. Sweet. So basically, we're going to go over different scenarios of how people get screwed left and right in Florida because of car accidents. So stay tuned. I may change that up a little bit because I was doing this thing with Paul where, like, I'll go and find videos where stuff happens online that some like pranks that somebody did to somebody that could actually turn into a personal injury case. And like he, go, we go through like some of these like stop, wait, hold up, this is crazy kind of things. And I, I may pull some a little bit more excitement. I'm gonna throw you a curveball at some point, but uh, it'll be fun. All right. And we'll have a good time with I it. Anyway, curveball. <laughs> sounds good. Well, yeah, Ryan, have a great day, man. The weather's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a let's have you an let's. Insurance. <laughs> touche, touche, touche. All right. Well, that being that, let's it's uh, it's like having a lawyer in the family. You guys have a great weekend.